everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria. Today we're going to be touring this 20 meter stretch beachfront property located in Natai with five bedrooms. This uniquely designed home is situated inside a five-star resort amongst six other exclusive villas. Just over 1,000 square meters of built-up area sat on 1,400 square meter of beachfront land. The two remaining villas are listed with sea property at 5.1 million US dollars. So excited to show you guys around, so stay tuned. Welcome to the villa. As you enter from the main road, you're here in your gated parking garage that fits two big cars. Before we enter into the home, on my left hand side here is actually the maid's quarter equipped with a full kitchen, bathroom, as well as a bedroom. So if you have a full-time nanny or full-time maid, they can actually live here in house. Through this hallway, I'm gonna take you guys into the villa, follow me. This walkway into the main entrance is illuminated by warm lighting as well as greenery on either sides of us. And through these main double doors, we enter into the foyer. We enter into the main foyer. You are greeted with this long hallway that takes us directly out onto your private beach. The length of this home is 75 meters. The width is just under 20 meters. So this long hallway actually goes all the way down to the beach, which is incredible. As we walk in, you'll see lots of wooden elements, which is actually teak wood used on the doors, the ceilings, as well as the staircase. Right under me, for the floors, they've actually used a type of porcelain tile called homogeneous tile. It's very durable and long lasting, especially if you are here by the beach, you need to be picking the right materials. And over here, just to add a little spice into the home is a white and black granite tile that is in a beautiful little pattern that you'll see throughout the home as well. On my left hand side is the mirror and an antique bench right here for you to put on your shoes before you head out the door. Two doors on either sides of me are actually the guest bedrooms. These are the only bedrooms on this lower floor. There are five bedrooms that we have to get to, but we'll get there. Just wait a little longer. On my left hand side here, I really like this space. It's so geometrically pleasing. You have the stairs that take us up onto the second floor. On my left hand side here is actually the glass floor from the second, the top floor right there. So you can see through right below it, we have this antique table right here to put all your keys before you, right when you come into the home. A beautiful art piece right here that actually doubles as a mirror. Coming along a little bit further, we actually open up onto the garden. So you actually have two sliding doors on either sides of you right here for the man-made gardens. Also, you've got a waterfall feature and obviously you have a lot of natural lighting coming through this hallway right here. Just down a couple steps further on this bottom floor is the entertainment area. The entertainment area can be closed off by this door right here and as we walk through you enter straight into the dining room. The dining room has been so tastefully furnished. You have this beautiful large dining table seating at least 12 people for you to have a 
feast here in your home. You've got custom made chairs. On that side is actually still chairs. And on this side, you've got rocking chairs. So you can really pick which one you prefer more while you're having dinner. Right above the dining table, you have these two chandeliers. They are not lit up because you actually have to put candles in them to light them up. But I can only imagine that reflecting with the glass will give such a beautiful lighting into this room. Talking about lighting, you've got cove lighting up on top as well as if you look at these light fixtures they are covered with this glass that not only that doesn't give you a straight spotlight it actually kind of glows and illuminates the room in this beautiful golden color on this wall it is an art piece of its own you have this hanging wooden 3d art piece right behind it a tinted glass that reflects beautiful warm light instead of having normal not glass, instead of having a normal mirror, it reflects more of like a bright color. They've tinted it that actually blends in with all the warm lighting in this room. And you'll see a lot of antique pieces throughout this space as well. And this dining room is actually bordered off by the same black and white granite tiles that is patterned in a beautiful way. Instead of putting a carpet down, they've used that to kind of board it off this room. This room has natural lighting from all sides, one out onto the man-made garden and the other out onto the pool deck, which we will get right into. But down this way, we're gonna walk into the powder room. To border off the dining room to the guest bathroom, you have this transparent wall that actually looks like there's a fabric inside and it's placed between two glass right here. So it gives you a sheer privacy, but also blocking you off from the dining room table. And once again, tinted mirrors right here to reflect warm light into this kind of enclosed space. Now through this door, you have the powder room. The powder room has this beautiful green Bali or Bali green um, natural stone tiles that actually goes from the floor all the way up to the walls. This is also known as Sukabumi natural stone sourced from Indonesia itself. And this is also the same material they've used for the pool deck, which we will get to. They've used that for the counters as the sink in between the mirror right here you have two hanging light fixtures even in the bathroom itself you have a cove lighting it is such a tasteful bathroom to have and have your guests see it's beautiful i love the color of the green complementing with this wooden teak door now let's go back out and check out the kitchen this Western kitchen is obviously not the only kitchen in this home, but it is the show kitchen. First off, you have your Samsung double door fridge that also has a showcase feature for you to just pick out your drinks instead of opening the whole entire fridge. You've got double sinks to my left hand side here on this really long island that also doubles as a bar as you see that there are bar stools on that side. This is just one of the ovens because right over here is the Smeg Victoria cooker. Actually, it has three ovens, six uh, hobs, as well as the matching hood up here. It's just a lovely little touch as well. You obviously need a wine cooler. That is all in here in the show kitchen, but Obviously, you guys saw the maid's kitchen already. It is fully stocked, fully equipped for you to have a feast. They also have their own access straight into here from the outdoors, actually through that door right there. So they can bring in the food straight to the dining table, or you can take the whole side uh, side of the home and it takes it straight out into the pool deck. Coming along a little bit further past the kitchen, we enter into the living room space. The living room uses the same feature like the dining room. They've used the black and white granite tiles to border off the space. You have custom cushions, two rounded coffee tables, this gorgeous back wall right here that is marble. It's huge, it's so beautiful black really complementing this home. Also, as I mentioned in the intro, there are only two villas left. The second villa is exactly like this, furnished the same way, but 
What's different is that they've actually switched the colors. So the floors are dark and the ceilings and the roof is white. So it's kind of a different contrast. Now back to this living room space, you have sliding doors that opens up all the way into your pool deck. You can also see the gorgeous view and the beach right there literally 30 meters away from you you can be at the beach swimming right now in front of me you have the curved samsung tv standing up on this antique shelving right here i love the touch of old and new that they put into this home it really just it's been done so tastefully the details and the thoughtfulness of all different materials just blends together so so nicely with also putting color into it to liven up the space now let me take you guys out onto this pool deck the pool deck itself is 109 square meters while the swimming pool, this L-shaped swimming pool is 119 square meters also with jets. It has this beautiful tile that gives off such a nice tealish color water that blends seamlessly into the ocean. Behind me right here is a nice seating, outdoor seating arrangement. It's such a conversational piece. You're, it's all these rounded woven chairs and a rounded table right there but there is also a dining table here now if we look up we actually have this retractable ceiling that gives you shade if you want but if you don't you can just touch a button and it opens all the way up giving you as much sunlight as you need now as you'll see on these wooden columns you have these lantern light fixtures which gives so much warmth into the space and down this way it takes us straight out onto your own garden you have your out outdoor shower as well as what I love about this property itself they have not destructed the nat nature whatsoever they've actually kept the mangroves that are very much signature to Natai Beach and it cools off the space you're not so hot when you're lounging here in your own garden then continuing on to the beach you can fully get as much sun and be burnt as much as you like but in your own little space you have so many trees so much shade and it's lovely to see something that it hasn't been you know cut down by humans but obviously once you own the place you can do whatever you'd like to it but as of right now go peek through and see the ocean which is just a beautiful little feature in this home now I'm gonna take you guys upstairs where the master bedroom is before we head out onto the beach later on let's go see that up on this top floor, you have three bedrooms, two guests, and of course, the master. I'm gonna show you guys one of the guest bedrooms. All four of them are the same. They have a king size bed, as well as an ensuite closet, sliding doors opening up onto the natural breeze. Let's check out this first guest bedroom. This guest bedroom on the top floor has the king size bed looking out onto its own balcony. You've got sliding doors on either side. So on these two sides right here, you've got recessed curtains that is actually continuous in the living room as well. It is this linen fabric, a grayish color, cove lighting up on top. I am loving the ceiling. You've got smooth edges, really thick, plaques of wood as well which makes it feel so so soft and really good quality at the corner here you have your curved tv once again on this side of the wall just to play on a plain white wall they've actually used the wood sanded it down and it's also this carved pattern just like the floors that we saw downstairs the tiles it's the same pattern right here and it's just a, a nice little touch it's sunken in a little bit has lighting on either sides and through the back here behind the bed the bed frame doubles as a working space as well it's got two of the headlamps right here for you at nighttime you have this granite countertop which is a beautiful blackish color soft closing cabinets that literally suck in and it's like elect basically automatic so even when you don't shut it properly it'll make sure to go there now through here is the ensuite it's actually this wall is actually a glass wall but you can 
with a click of a button, put the blinds down and completely be shut off. But the mirror inside actually doubles as a full body mirror on this side, which is really, really cool. Down this way, you have the walk-in closet, a nice natural lighting coming through these windows right here on my left-hand side through these sliding wooden doors. We walk into the ensuite. The ensuite uses the same tiles as the rest of the uh, as the rest of the home. This grayish tile for the walls that continues into the walk-in shower. Now, the only difference I did say there was no differences in the bed in the guest bedrooms, but the tiles on the top floor in the bathroom itself is more of a grayish color. Downstairs is black. So those are the only two differences. Left hand side is the sink. Once again, the floating mirror right here, hanging light fixture, just like the bathroom in the powder room downstairs. And you get a lot of natural lighting on this top floor. The sun is about to set on that side, which we will have to get to because the master bedroom will have a perfect view of that. So let's go check out the master. The master bedroom is sectioned off by this door right here. It's beautiful. It takes us straight into this hallway. The master has its own hallway right above the bottom floor where they had sliding doors looking out onto the garden. So you have the exact same experience right here in your master bedroom. Also with the waterfall feature coming along a little bit further. Now it opens up into the master. It has really high ceilings, cove lighting up on top, AC vents that are built in so it blends seamlessly into this room. The king size bed right here with a beautiful back wall that is the white sanded down textured wooden walls right here. And this beautiful lampshade, look at the stand of this. It's so gorgeous. I like how on either side doesn't match. It really feels like they've sourced the pieces individually and pieced them all together and it blends naturally. Now in front of the bed, you have the sofa with the custom cushions. Over there, the TV sliding doors opening up onto your balcony another section over here for you to enjoy your drinks at night because there is also a kitchenette with a mini fridge through this door now through here is the ensuite through here is the his and hers walk-in closet and through these double doors we walk into most likely one of my favorite bathrooms ever. It is this dark greenish colored tiles that they've used throughout the guest powder room downstairs as well as the pool deck and it gives off such a sexy feel. This bathroom is sexy and also the lighting is as well. There's actually buttons where you can pick on how dim you want the light so you can go down to real sexy. Now. Over here is the double sinks. Right in front above of them, you have this hanging mirror, lampshades coming from up top. I am loving the stripes on these. It goes perfectly well with the tiles that they've used on the floors. The walk-in shower right there. Once again, the same teak wood panels for the ceilings. And right in the middle, you have some mosaic tiles and it just blends seamlessly into this really beautiful bathroom. On my right hand side is the single standing bathtub in this matte black material right here that actually is right beside your rooftop deck. You actually have your own rooftop deck from these sliding doors right here. It takes you out into the nature and it's a lovely space to have. This is basically the master bedroom's balcony, but you can also access it from the side steps right here on the bottom floor. Now I'm gonna take you guys down onto the beach. It is just 30 meters away. So let's go check that out.
I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. As well, if you have any questions or concern, don't forget to click the link in my description box below. It will take you straight to the Sea Property website, as well as my contact information is through there. But for now, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.